Good morning students. Welcome to the history and civics class of class 7th. We were doing lesson number 9 of history. The name of the lesson is Akbar the Great. Topics to be discussed in this lesson are number 1 its introduction, number 2 early life of Akbar, number 3 consolidation and expansion of the empire, number 4 Akbar's administration number 5 religious policy number 6 rajput policy number 7 social reforms number 8 educational reforms number 9 cultural developments under akbar number 10 estimate of akbar new words of today's topic are number 1 valor means great courage especially shown in battles Number 2 matrimonial alliance means relationship created by marriage number 3 conciliation to bring peace number 4 infanticide killing of an infant who is less than 1 year of age number 5 maktab primary school attached to a mosque number 6 madrasa it is a secondary school or a college number 7 theology religious belief and theory number 8 jurisprudence means the theory of law before starting with today's topic let us recall the cross questions of previous day topic number 1 name the chief export items during akbar's reign number 2 in which year pilgrim tax was abolished by akbar Number 3 name two taxes abolished by akbar Number 4 which new religion was started by akbar Number 5 what is sulaykul Number 6 what is the meaning of the word ibadat khana Number 7 where and why ibadat khana was built Students you have to take out page number 96 Our first topic is rajput policy Akbar was impressed by the patriotism and chivalry of the Rajputs. He realized that the support of the Rajput was necessary to build and maintain a large stable empire. Number 1. Akbar treated the Rajputs with honor and equality and won their respect and loyalty. Number 2. He strengthened his ties with the Rajputs through the matrimonial alliance. He married the daughter of the Raja of Amber, the mother of Jahangir, means Akbar's successor to the Mughal throne. He married several other Rajput princesses. He also married Prince Salim to the daughter of Raja Bhagwan Das. Number three, he won their friendship, loyalty, and cooperation by appointing them to important posts of the trust and responsibility. Raja Mansingh was made a military commander and a viceroy of large province. Number 4 the jizya and the pilgrim tax were abolished. Number 5 Akbar did not annex the kingdoms of the Rajput rulers after defeating them in war. Rajput policy in order to expand, consolidate and administer his empire. Akbar deliberately turned towards the rajputs by the word deliberately we mean purposely akbar purposely moved towards the rajputs who were well known for their bravery valor and loyalty by the word valor i mean great courage rajputs were well known for their bravery courage and loyalty that's why akbar joined his hands with the rajputs akbar's rajput policy was based on the principles of self interest acknowledgement of the heroism and merits of the rajputs number 1 he allowed most of the rajputs to continue ruling the territories even after defeating them and did not interfere in their internal affairs number 2 he entered into matrimonial alliance with the rajputs 
matrimonial alliance means relationships created by the marriage he married the daughter of raja bharman of amir in 80 1562 akbar married prince salim to the daughter of raja bhagwan das in 80 1584 number 3 akbar started appointing rajputs to the high post in his administration akbar appointed the rajput to the high post in the administration raja man singh one of the akbar's most trusted official was the rajput our next topic is social reforms by akbar number 1 akbar was against sati and legalized widow remarriage number 2 he raised the age of marriage to 14 for the girls and 16 for boys number 3 he restricted the sale of wine and spirits number 4 he encouraged the study of astronomy mathematics logic and history number 5 he revised the educational syllabus and laid more stress on moral education and on secular subjects rather than on religion number 6 akbar raised portion to the status of the state language which led to the growth of literature it is said that his library had more than 4000 manuscripts manuscript means handwritten records akbar had more than 4000 manuscripts in his library social reforms akbar introduced a number of social reforms to get rid of some of the evil practices of the society number 1 he prohibited sati no woman was to be burned alive against her will number 2 he discouraged child marriage he laid stress on the consent of the bride and the bridegroom before marriage consent means permission to happen the minimum age of marriage was raised to 14 years for the girls and 16 years for the boys number 3 he condemned female infanticide by the word condemn we mean criticize akbar criticized female infanticide here the word infanticide means killing of an infant who is less than 1 year of age number 4 he abolished pilgrim and the jizya tax number 5 akbar abolished the system of enslaving the wives and the children of prisoners of the war next we will discuss educational reforms by akbar number 1 akbar laid emphasis on secular subjects such as mathematics agriculture logic history and astronomy number 2 he got to vedas the mahabharat the bhagavad gita the bible and the other famous works translated to persian so that the middle and the upper middle classes could have access to the common literature and an insight into other various cultures educational reforms akbar undertook several measures for the promotion of education throughout his empire number 1 a maktab or primary school was attached to every mosque where elementary reading writing arithmetic and principle of the quran were taught number 2 he established madrasa or colleges at fatehpur sikri agra delhi and several other places and granted them endowments number 3 schools were also attached to every hindu temple where reading writing and religious texts were taught number 4 subjects of higher studies were islamic theology philosophy logic astronomy jurisprudence hindu theology sanskrit grammar and mathematics number 5 akbar for the first time opened the madrasa for hindus he made the study of persian language compulsory for all his subjects number 6 he established a translation department and got sanskrit arabic and turki work translated into persian the vedas the ramayan and the mahabharat were translated into persian 
Number seven, he opened several libraries that contained thousands of books on different subjects in different languages. Students, these all reforms were brought by Akbar in educational field. Today we have to discuss till here only. Tomorrow we will discuss cultural development under Akbar. Thank you.